finished turning the Chrysler Crown crank for our Shepard engine project, 1957. The engine's a 57 that's going on, that boat's a 55, but she came out nice 1010. Took a little bit to find some bearings for it. So stuff's starting to get obsolete, but we found them. Setting our sun in P300 gauge here. We had a 716th mandrel. Got all dialed in. Let's check those guides. All right, working on our Chrysler Crown, and I got three of these seats in, and three of the guides are just a little tighter than I like. Um, we're looking for three to five thousandths valve guide clearance here. So I fired up our old sun in P300 gauge here, and We'll retract it and I set this already up with two valves. So I'm right there about three and a half, four. Just come on up a little bit. I'm gonna loop some out of the four there. There we go. So I'm gonna open up just a shade to get the pilot to fit just a little bit better. My pilot's a 437.4. Just a little too tight, so we'll, we'll use our sudden valve guide hone here and hone it hone her up a little bit. We'll stop there and check it. Ooh, three angle for our old M47. I'll blew up the intakes and we'll test those. Or the Chrysler Crown, M47 as 1957. Got the seats all done. We took the first hole there and checked their size. We're in four short, which is perfect. We have a four to hold. Bring this girl back to life here this spring. Holding the M47S. Eight inch cylinder depth, that hone is working. All right, got the old M47 all honed up. Came out nice. 30 over. Three inch, what, 467 I finished in, so. Now it's off to wash her up and start assembling. Seven Chrysler Crown head.
all day.